Morning, guys and gals. Welcome back to the Big Cash Crew. I am your host, Eddie P, for today. And uh, yeah, today we're going to be going through a really cool alt altcoin and a ICO as well, which is pretty damn exciting. So let's get stuck into the show. Excellent. So, as I said, altcoin ICO, good stuff in the markets today. We'll go through our altcoin first. Let's have a little quick peek over here. So, um, with the altcoin, guys and gals, we've talked about Siren before. Um, they're pretty exciting. It's a sort of open source software kind of thing. Uh, the reason I'm bringing you today is they've been a real big mover because they're bringing out something really cool. And what they're really focusing on at the moment is an operating system that works on blockchain technology, but it's for mobile. And this is causing quite a bit of a stir. And I think this is one of the big sort of movers behind the, uh, the current upswing in their currency. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about what this new operating system will do and uh, why I think this one is going to be an exciting player moving forward. So let me bring up my notes here. So um, with your operating system, excuse me, obviously because we're all talking about cryptos, um, there's going to be a crypto wallet involved, which is pretty cool. Um, there's going to be secure exchange access, which is something we all want. That's, I suppose, the one thing most of us, or all of us, hopefully, are worried about with crypto is security um, because, you know, it's not locked in a safe like we think of the good old days. Um, you've got encrypted communications, which is good, and that's from peer to peer. So, you know, people don't take that seriously enough. But, you know, every time you send a message, whether it be email, text, Facebook, whatever, you know, somebody's reading that. So encrypted communication is not just something for large corporations. It's not necessarily a bad thing for normal folks like you and me. So that really I find exciting. Um, and yeah, like I said before, it's open source. So that means that, you know, there isn't much of a cap with development. You know, people can go and do sort of their own thing depending on how tech savvy they are, but it will keep growing because the community will keep growing. So that, that I do find quite exciting. Now, this is all backed by the SRN token, which has other applications and feeds other avenues. But I think this is really exciting, this operating system. And there is some software that makes it work very nicely with the home computer. So um, yeah, I think that this has some pretty good potential. So in the last 24 hours, let's have a quick peek over here. Yeah. 20% move, which is, is not small. Um, it's still, I think, cheaper than it will be in the future. I think this one will probably continue to ascend. This one, I think, appeals a bit more to the really tech savvy people, especially being open source software. But the reality is, is that because it provides so many just sort of pragmatic functions for people to use on their mobile, you know, I, I think that's pretty good. And I think that it may have a good future. Excuse me. Um, it just depends on you know how many people take it on, and how many people see the benefits in having sort of all that technology just on their smartphone. But um, I suppose with that one, only time will tell. However, it is today's big mover at twenty percent. So big ups to um, SRN token. Cool. All right, let's take a peek over at a really little cool ICO called Streamity. Now, this one caught my eye for a couple of reasons, boys and girls. Um, this one deals with the world of crypto exchange. Now, um, for a lot of you out there, you're probably sort of new to the world of trading and investing, and crypto might have been your sort of, you know, shoe-in, because a lot of people jumped on this sort of bandwagon of speculation and trading and investing with crypto, especially when Bitcoin exploded. So that, that's cool. Um, as Richie and I have talked about many times before, we come from a Forex trading background, and we traded a few other things as well, but mainly Forex. So to us, this idea of an exchange that's just available, you know, at your fingertips that you can exchange fiat currency and cryptocurrency from point to point or from peer to peer, I should say, this is really exciting, you know, because we spent so much time in this world where we're trading 28 pairs at once. But if we actually want to go and, and get physical money, you know, that's a whole other story. So this is really exciting, at least as far as I'm concerned. 
So the general idea um, with, with this currency is that it is a peer-to-peer -peer platform um, where you can do exchange of uh, money, you know, crypto and also fiat. So I'll just give you sort of a quick rundown of sort of how the functionality is supposed to work and just sort of see why it's supposed to be a, a safe way to do it um, because it is a completely automated system, which I thought, hmm, because I've reviewed a lot of uh, altcoins and ICOs the last few months, and most of them have some sort of human interaction at some point, you know, depending on which one it is, but this one apparently is fully automated. So anyway, like this is the path. So picture this. We have um, a buyer and a seller. So like myself and my buddy, um, John. And in between us, we have um, the smart contract and the payment system. The idea is once I send through a request, it will unlock the path. And then instead of having four places to go, it's just from point to point. And that's your peer to peer. So that's pretty cool um, because it's an automated system and it cuts out a lot of the, the guff, if you like, in getting things like this done. It's supposed to be very cheap. Now, I don't have the exact numbers out yet, but you know, I'm still in this mind where, you know, I've reviewed a lot of ICOs in the channel. I keep saying it's free, it's free, it's free, because to me, that's kind of the future. And there's other ways that these companies can make money, you know, um, from their, the folks on their blockchain. But then again, you know, fees are fees. And if it ends up being, you know, like a situation, if you looked at, say, Bitcoin Cash versus, <clears throat> excuse me, Bitcoin, where you go from $10 a transaction to a few cents, well, we can live in that world. You know, at the moment, most of you are probably in the U.S. If you're going to, say, like England for a week's vacation, you want to exchange for some pounds or go across to maybe France and get some euros, you're not just going to get a crappy rate on the exchange, but you're going to pay like a commission on top of that. So if these folks can get it down to something very reasonable, you know, it's, it's a small fraction of the transaction, it doesn't bother me that it's not free um, because everyone has to turn a dollar, and I think that this is going to be a powerful tool. I think it'll be something that appeals to certainly business travelers will be a, a big, big thing. Um, but I think it'll appeal to sort of more normal people, you know, people who travel once, twice, three times a year, even if it's just to visit a friend or a family member overseas for a week or whatever it is. This has a great appeal. You know, you can buy and sell goods and services. Actually, you can buy and sell currency um, very easily. And, you know, in this world where in the future, I mean, things may consolidate. But there's still going to be, you know, even if things consolidate, there's still going to be dozens, if not hundreds, of different coins that people are using. So this idea that sort of on your mobile, you can just walk around and do these transactions, I think is really appealing. And I think it has good upside potential. So yeah, that is um, my review of the ICO for today. I definitely say keep an eye on it. It um, doesn't come out for, I think it's another 20 days now. So. We'll see how it goes, um, but I think that that one is certainly one to keep an eye on, and I don't think it's going to be unique. That's probably, you know, because I always give sort of, not the downside, but I always say, like, you know, what point of um, contention do I feel there is or point of pushback? This is probably not going to be the most unique um, of applications. You know, we've covered ones that are, are completely immersed in this really interesting niche market. Uh, there's plenty of exchanges the world over and you know we could see in the future even situations where this exchanges for just maybe like five pairs and because they focused on that they can get a better rate than anyone else or whatever but um, that's no reason not to do something you know it's baseball season and there's you know 32 teams out there so um, I think it's um, it's got good potential and it's got good purpose for all of us cool well hope you guys and gals enjoyed the show it is Friday coming up, so Richie will be doing a review of all things crypto. I will be back on Sunday for EDP's Forex review, and from Monday, I'm going to be doing a live stream every morning on Forex, because what I've been hearing from some of y'all out there is that, look, it's great that I help you set up the charts on Sunday, and a lot of you are benefiting from that, but some folks need a bit of help uh, throughout the week and sort of updating their charts and all that kind of stuff. So I'm with you. I've heard you. I'm listening to the people. And what I'll be doing is um, I set up my charts every morning anyway, like as a good Forex trader does. So I'll be coming to y'all live and direct five days a week. Um, talking to you about good old Forex and help you just get those charts all ready and then um, help you get prepped for the day. Until next time, stay safe, stay well. Good luck on all the charts. Y'all have a good one. Take care. Bye-bye.